So here we have the Nike P6000 Coconut Milk. And uh, this is a sneaker that I wanted to sort of check out. I'm not sure if it's something that, you know, is for me, but it's one of those ones where it's, I suppose, popular, and especially because of the Y2K trend at the moment. It seems to be one of those ones being on a budget, you know, people like really interested in these. And these were originally released in uh, 2022. And it's a new silhouette, well, slightly new silhouette. And uh, they're mainly used for sort of lifestyle and casual trainers, really. And the the influence for these has been the Pegasus 225 and also the Pegasus 2006. So it's taking those sne two sneakers and taking a design language for both of those and coming up with its own sort of new, I suppose, silhouette, but at the same time paying nod to the puffs. And with the details, it comes in a coconut milk, summit white, metallic silver and black colorway so you can see that on here the coconut milk kind of runs throughout the lines on the sneaker going uh, horizontally and then your vertical lines being the silver and uh, so you know in that, in that respect it's uh, one of those sneakers it's quite sort of neutral I suppose in terms of its look and as far as I know um, this feels like a, a polyurethane foam midsole I don't think it's EVA because it doesn't feel that soft but it's uh, still you know would do the job I guess in that respect and it's got a rubber outsole, so much as like any other Pegasus, really. I, I find them, you know, to usually be sort of quite sort of hard wearing, so they should last, you know, a good while as well. And it's got that kind of waffle pattern on it. And uh, it's got an all synthetic upper material, so there's nothing special going on here. The front and the back have uh, reflective um, material, so which is really good for nighttime, especially you know in the dark. And the price for these are ninety nine ninety nine. So with the comfort and sizing, these are sort of more on the medium side in my opinion. They're not like soft and squishy, but they do feel, you know, quite sort of neutral on foot. So we'll say that. And it has a similar vibe to a Vomero or a Y2K run. And also they have sort of neutral support. They're kind of more lifestyle uh, sneaker now. So not really, you'd, you know, you'd use this for running. And if you did, then it'd probably be very lightweight. But, you know, as a lifestyle sneaker, it's got enough support in there for, for the arch. And no wear in time for these. I found that like, they're quite uh, big and open, really. So, you know, especially if you've got a wide foot. I went um, true to size on these, and they actually fit really, really well. So, which is a surprise, because usually with like, mesh runners, I have, a, you know, an issue with my wide foot. So, and with this one, not, not so much, actually. And they, they, they're quite sort of wide foot friendly in that respect, and seem to have a wider silhouette compared to other uh, Pegasus and uh, Nike runners. So like I said, true to size does work. I and mean, if you have a really wide foot, would I suggest going up half size? And these have really good grip in my opinion as well. So like I sort of said earlier, it's got sort of this waffle pattern and classically Nike. And uh, you know, I think it would work well. And most of the Pegasus sneakers seem to have a good rubber outsole. So with the look and style, I do like the uh, Y2K style aesthetic. And like I said, because it's got these reflective on the front and the back, it's quite cool as well. And this is a good one for sort of spring summertime, being a lightweight, uh, easy to wear sneaker and breathable and makes you know makes it that kind of easier to wear during those sort of hot periods. And it's a good sneaker for sort of casual wear, so you know I wouldn't really be dressing smart on these, they're not really meant for that, they're more of a sort of sporty vibe. And it comes with these these sort of white black laces, but you could also put in some grey ones or some some sour ones as well to match the coconut milk. So with the final thoughts, I do like the uh, Y2K aesthetic in that respect. I think, you know, they've done a good job in trying to sort of replicate that. And uh, the fact that they're really lightweight, um, when you put those on feet, they're probably even more lightweight than the Vomero, in my opinion. And like I said earlier, they're wide foot friendly. So if you have a wide foot, you can go true to size and still be okay with these. And with the, the um, also the cost as well, being at £100 are very reasonable. And sometimes you can even pick them up on sale and, uh, you know, more around the sort of £75, £80 mark. Uh, with the cons, I think there isn't much tech in there, so obviously it's to be expected for the price that you pay, but um, when you compare it to, say, the ASICS uh, JL 1130, then, you know, that has a little bit more tech in there, so, um, you know, so for me, I would have preferred to have some sort of tech in there to just to kind of sort of push that uh, value a bit more. So with the ratings, I give the look and style a 3 out of 5, and the reason being is I think the Y2K run sneaker and the Vimera 5s are much nicer sneakers in terms of their looks and probably something that I'd probably gravitate towards more. And sometimes you can pick up a Vimera for quite cheap, so in that respect, I think you know if you can pick up a Vimera, maybe it might not be as nice a colorway, but I still prefer to be wearing a Vimera 5 in that instance or even a Y2K run. 
and the comfort only give it a four i think uh, like i said it's neutral it's quite sort of basic but it works and works well and it's like i said the midsole and outsole and the upper feels very lightweight and the quality i'm going to give that a three i'm not sure how long you know this type of cushioning is going to last for whether it will bottom out quite quickly because obviously it's on the cheaper side but you know it's one of those ones you, you pay for what you get and the price I'm going to give that for, I think they've done a good job with the price and uh, £100, but I think it could probably be slightly lower if you're comparing it to, say, other manufacturers. But uh, I'm not mad at it, and like I said, if you could pick them up and sell, then it's an even better bargain. And overall, I give the score a 3 out of 5. I mean, if you're on a budget, then i definitely sort of recommend grabbing a pair of these, but uh, if you can sort of stretch your budget to a Y2K run, and if you're into Nikes, then also a, a Vimero if you can pick them up and sell. But... Uh, other than that, then, you know, I'd also sort of try and recommend a New Balance model, but uh, with those, they also can be quite expensive, but you can sometimes get 2002Rs or 1906Rs sitting around near enough sort of this £100 price range. So for me, it's a good sneaker, but, you know, very much one of those ones where, like I said, it's based on value and, you know, at the time, if, if nothing's on sale, then probably want to grab a pair of these and be happy with it, and especially if it's in your sort of price range.